What's up, man? Bill here. Just heading back from actually a massage this time, not a client. Man, it was a good one. If you guys don't get a professional massage, you know, at least once a month or every other month, you should. And here's the reason why. Well, let me actually backtrack a little bit. I'll tell you the today's topic. Not taking care of yourself. Especially when you need it the most. See, a lot of people, especially people I work with, there's a lot of, um, they deal with a lot of clients, like I do, you know. A lot of doctors, a lot of lawyers, a lot of service, you know, industry kind of people. And they have to take care of other people for whatever reason, you know, whatever their industry is. But, many times, they take care of themselves last. And what that does is it actually will go ahead and make them produce less than quality, what they would normally do for work. And I discovered this probably about, I don't know, when did I meet Joe? About a year and a half ago, I would say. Um, one of my clients is actually a massage therapist. And I've been to quite a few. And this guy just tops them all. It's insane how good he is. Uh, but every time, you know, we have a deal set in our, you know, contract where I give him a discount in training and he gives me one massage a month. Now, originally I wanted to do two, and we had two for a while, but it was just getting too hard for me to make that time. So, you know, realistically, I can see I need at least one massage a month. Now let's step back to where we were. I haven't gotten a massage in probably two, three months. Reason being, you know, the holidays came, Julie and I got engaged, we got actually this little guy over here. So, things got busy. But, it just helps with your mental clarity and the way you feel so that when you do work, you do it at such a higher level than you have been. Um, the same thing can be said for really anything, like your nutrition, your rest, um, all kinds of stuff, and you really have to think about it. If your body is tired, don't keep fucking pushing it, all right? There's a reason it's tired. If you know it's going to become tired by doing an exercise, well then no shit, keep going, obviously. <laughs> but, if you've been pulling like 18 hour week, or 18 hour days, 18 hour weeks, if you've been pulling uh, 18 hour days, you know, five days a week, six days a week, like I used to, for way too fucking long, and you literally feel like you lost a part of your soul, no exaggeration about that, it's that hard, on your body and in your mind, um, you gotta change something. So what are you gonna to do to change it? Well, you should rest more, you should sleep more, you should not work so hard, not work so long. You know, there's a million and one different things to do, but honestly, a massage is a great one. Not only just the massage itself, but while he's doing it, I actually meditate. And so it's almost like you know, my physical body is, you know, it's tiring, like training people and showing people how to lift properly and stuff like this, doing this six to eight hours a day. Like, picking up weights is tiring. And, I'm usually not warmed up when I do it. So, my body takes a little double whammy. If it was warmed up, it wouldn't be as bad. But, it's not, which is cool. So that's why I need the massage. But also during the uh, during the meditation, when I meditate, it's almost like a mental kind of clarity thing, which is great too. So that way I kind of get a double whammy, which is awesome. So anyway, man, think about what you're doing right now and why you're tired if you are. Okay, if you're not tired, then you're doing something right. Cool. But there's a point, and I've found this, that there is no amount of caffeine on this planet that can keep you awake if you really want to fall asleep. You know, if you keep doing 18 hour days, you know, five, six days a week, you'll reach that point pretty quickly. I did that for nine months. I was amazed, I, was, I feel like I was on my deathbed. <laughs> but all right, that's it. Peace out, we'll talk soon.